Innovative. Educational. Ingenuitive. Creative. Special. Symbiotic. Sustainable. <laughs>So the idea for the tiny house project here at Westminster got started really with an idea from the Secretary of Environmental Programs, Leslie Watson. She had been watching the tiny house movement, watching some of the TV shows and thought, wouldn't it be great, a great learning experience for us to, to have this available for our students to in, engage in uh, a tiny living experience. And that's where it started and it blossomed from there. The tiny house is there's they're like there's just the strict definition which is a house that's smaller than x amount of square feet um, and people have been doing it to simplify their living and um, basically get away from this big thing and try to become minimalistic um, they've done them in different ways with like a foundation just small or on trailers to pull around i think this uh, this program is definitely unique especially to westminster but I think it really fits in with our liberal arts education we have going on because this liberal arts education we have, it diversifies us and it teaches us to think critically about all areas of education and all areas of life. And I think it's important to pay attention to the environment and learn to think critically on how you're affecting your world and also generations to come. My hope is that the Tiny House Project is an educational experience and it will probably be most impactful for the students that are in the coursework that is linked to the tiny house, where they're actually living in a tiny house for a portion of the course. But I also see it as an opportunity to educate the campus community as a whole or the public. So people who come look at the tiny house to see the alternative energy, to see how it's uh, situated off the grid are going to be able to learn from that and for me I think it, it has a really it has a, a people are drawn to tiny houses but then they can also learn something from coming to visit ours and that that's what I hope happens